Imagine a computer that doesn't just process information faster, but thinks in a fundamentally new way, a quantum computer. Instead of following the straightforward logic of ones and zeros, it harnesses the strange rules of the quantum world, where particles can be in multiple states at once. This lets quantum computers tackle problems that would take classical supercomputers longer than the age of the universe to solve. Think of it as exploring a vast library. A classical computer checks every book one by one, but a quantum computer reads them all at once. This parallelism is what excites scientists. It's a leap as big as the invention of the transistor. Quantum computers could revolutionize medicine, material science, and our understanding of the universe. But with this power comes new questions. What happens when a machine can break the codes that protect our secrets? What discoveries await when we can simulate reality itself? We stand at the threshold of a new era, where computation meets the very fabric of the cosmos. The journey into the quantum world is just beginning. It promises to reshape civilization in ways we're only starting to imagine. The story of quantum computing is humanity learning to speak the universe's native language. To grasp the quantum revolution, let's first peek inside a regular computer. Billions of transistors act as switches, on or off, one or zero. This is the bit, the foundation of classical computing. Every photo, email, or video is just a long string of these bits. Classical computers process information step by step, like methodically searching a maze one path at a time. For most tasks, this works. But for some problems, the number of possibilities is so vast that even supercomputers get lost. Enter the quantum world. Quantum computers use qubits, which can be zero, one, or both at once, thanks to superposition. Imagine a dimmer switch that's every brightness at once. This lets quantum computers process exponentially more information. In our maze, a quantum computer explores every path simultaneously, using interference to reveal the right answer. It's not just about speed, it's a new way of seeing problems. Quantum computers understand the entire landscape of possibilities in a single moment. This is the source of their extraordinary power. The quantum world changes how we think about information itself. Now, let's shift to the digital frontier, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is digital money run by a global network, not a central bank. Every transaction is recorded on the blockchain, a public ledger everyone can see but no one can secretly change. The blockchain is a chain of blocks, each containing a list of transactions, creating a permanent, unchangeable record. To alter a transaction, you'd have to rewrite every page in this global ledger, an impossible task. The system's security comes from cryptography, secret codes that protect ownership and transaction integrity. Each user has a public key, like an account number, and a private key, like a secret PIN. The private key proves you own your Bitcoin. The public key lets others send you funds. When you send Bitcoin, you use your private key to sign the transaction, and the network verifies it with your public key. This allows secure, trustless transactions in a completely open system. Bitcoin security is a fortress built on mathematics, not trust in any single authority. It's a revolution in digital trust. Bitcoin security relies on public key cryptography, easy to compute one way, nearly impossible to reverse. Your public key is derived from your private key, but going backward is so hard it would take classical supercomputers billions of years. Here's the quantum threat. Quantum computers using Shor's algorithm could break this lock in a flash. They don't guess and check. They use quantum principles to find the answer almost instantly. If a powerful quantum computer existed, it could take a public Bitcoin address and uncover the private key. With the private key, an attacker could steal all your Bitcoin. Quantum computers threaten not just Bitcoin, but the security of the entire digital world. Is this threat imminent? Not yet. Today's quantum computers are primitive, more like early airplanes than jetliners. Breaking Bitcoin's encryption would require millions of stable qubits. Current machines have only a few hundred, and they're noisy and fragile. Experts predict a quantum computer capable of breaking cryptography is at least a decade, likely much longer, away. The Bitcoin community is vigilant. Any quantum breakthrough will be noticed, not secret. Newer Bitcoin addresses already offer better protection by hiding public keys until a transaction is made, shrinking the attack window. The network will have time to react and upgrade before quantum computers become a real threat. The race is on, but the finish line is still distant. Is Bitcoin doomed? Far from it.
cryptography is evolving alongside quantum computing. Mathematicians are developing post-quantum algorithms, new locks that even quantum computers can't pick. Bitcoin's rules can be upgraded by community consensus. When the quantum threat becomes real, the network can transition to quantum-resistant cryptography. Users would move funds to new secure addresses, a massive but manageable upgrade. Bitcoin has weathered major changes before. This would be another step in its evolution. The goal? Build a new fortress before the old one cracks. Quantum computers push us to innovate, making Bitcoin stronger, not weaker. The future of digital money will be secured by the next generation of cryptography.